I am in the process of uh, packing up some uh, dorm wheat that I bought and I want to show you uh, how I do it. So I bought about 25 pounds of uh, dorm wheat. And this is beautiful wheat. Now I have a, a mill so I can mill my own flour. And uh, another time I'll do a video on milling your own flour. When you're buying wheat, might I suggest that you get organic certified wheat only. A lot of wheat was destroyed this year due to the floods that they had in the Midwest. So uh, be very careful where you buy your wheat. I buy it from this company. Uh, where's the tag? Here it is. I know you're seeing it backwards. Um, okay, so it is organic. And what I'll do is, right now I'm holding the camera. So I have my bags ready. These are my Mylar bags. And I use a Harvest Right. I have another video on the bags, on the Mylar bags. And what you, you should look for when purchasing mylar bags because not all bags are created equal okay and it depends on the uh, strength of the bag to uh, when you put the oxygen absorbers in it to pull the oxygen out so these bags are very thick there's a, there's a thickness in them so I have these in my big bags. Now oxygen, I mean Harvest Right makes uh, two types of bags. I'm trying to zoom out so you can see. This is the big one. And then they have the smaller bag. If you watch my other video on um, how to properly store food long term. Now these are the oxygen absorbers. And I have this whole thing about oxygen absorbers. Be very, very careful when you order these. Third party companies are, um, they're doing unscrupulous things. They're taking the oxygen absorbers out of the bags, out of these plastic bags. They're opening them up and they're putting them in separate bags and then they're sealing them again so what happens is you're not getting a pure oxygen absorber it's already been opened opened and tampered with i buy mine from a pack us usa pack fresh usa here it says fresh us this is the manufacturer when you get the oxygen absorber you should have a color on there this color is pink when the air gets to it, it's going to turn dark, dark pink or purple. So I do this at the last minute. And what I did was I opened up my, my germ wheat and I'm ready to put it in the bags. Once I put it in the bags, then I open up my oxygen absorber and I work really, really fast because these things work fast and I have to seal this bag quickly. So I'll show you as I go through it. Hi friends, the bags are full. I, I uh, filled them up as much as I could. And uh, what I told, showed you was that I had, um, uh, I said this was dorm. This is not dorm. This is um, hard white, hard white uh, whole berries. And what I do is I get the, um, the certified organic. Just not, you know, just saying it's uh, organic is one thing, but when it's certified organic, it's a different thing. Now, the bags, of, I have the bags, they have all the weed in them, and now I'm going to work quickly because now I have to open up my oxygen absorbers. I'm going to drop one or two in each bag. These are uh, 50, no, what are these, 200? No, I'm sorry, these are 500 cc's. So each oxygen absorber is 500 cc's. I'm gonna put four of them in there. And then the remaining in here, I'm gonna run inside, put my vacuum sealer on, and I'm gonna seal this, okay? Like I said, you can't, you know, take your sweet time. You gotta do this quickly.
and I have my iron set up. And right now, and this is too big. This bag is too big. I'm going to use a smaller jar. Oh, the wrong jar. I'm going to use a smaller jar for the oxygen absorber. I'm going to throw one in there. I'll put the other ones in here. And I'll be back. Do you hear my oxygen absorber machine thingy going? And now I have the iron set and I put one in here. I'll just put the cover on that for now. Now I'm going to seal them. Okay, so I want you to see what I do. So the bags are three quarters full. I got the oxygen absorber in there. Now I'm going to iron it. A drawer here. So I'm going to open it up a little bit. And I have my um, I have my uh, cutting board here, which gives me a little bit of height. You don't want the steam cart, the um, iron on. Try to take as much air out of the bag as you can. Now I want to be in view so you can see what I'm doing. Do it too long because what you'll do is you'll make a hole in the mylar. Put that down. Go to the next bag. The bag I'm trying to take out as much air as possible. And then I'll go over it again just to make sure that I got a good seal. And you don't want to keep it too long. This is a heavy bag. And that's why you need um, sturdy, strong uh, mylar bags. Cheap ones won't hold the weight. Now, if you have um, a curling iron straightener, I don't know what to call it. It's the curling. It's the curling iron straightener iron. It's to straighten your hair. You can use that too. on too long because you can melt the bag. And ask me how I know because I've done it. Okay, I just want like this, and I noticed that I didn't write on this bag. So it'd be smart for me to write hard white. I always put the organic and the month that I got it in. And this will last 30 plus years. 30, 40, 50. So 20, 50. Okay. Now, let me just do the next one. Here I have some wheat that I had left over. I'm going to put it into my mason jar.
right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the machine right away, and I'm going to uh, seal this. Friends, so now this is sealed, and what I do is I don't, when I'm putting it in the mason jars, I don't really uh, use new lids because I save my new lids for when I'm doing my canning. So these are used, used lids, but I do check them periodically, and plus the vacuum sealer sealed all the air out, but I will check them periodically and make sure that they're not popped up. I'm not too worried about it because in the mason jar, it's pretty secure. I haven't really had anything go bad except for um, I put uh, the wild rice in it and the wild rice is like brown rice and it goes rancid quickly. So here I'm just gonna put what it is. This is hard white. And the date in 2020, it's organic. Okay, and the remaining um, rice that I have in my jar. Now, I'm gonna pre-seal this just to make sure that everything is sealed good. But they, they look like they're sealed pretty good. But I just wanna make sure, because you don't want no air. This is going to shrink. And by tomorrow, I should have uh, a bag that's all no oxygen in here. Now I'm able to hold the bag. Okay. I don't want to puncture a hole in it. Now you gotta kind of be careful because you don't want to puncture a hole in what you just did. Now I've been on uh, Facebook today and I I see a lot of uh, people that are you know wanting to learn how to um, store their, their rice and their beans. And uh, this one person said that uh, she had bugs and she was gonna use a Clorox wash. And I, I couldn't help it, but I had to respond to her. And I, I said, do you know what you're doing? And uh, you wanna kill your family? So I, I never heard of a Clorox wash, but rice, if you get the rice bags, and you bring it home and you stick it in the freezer for two days or a day. Then you take it out, take the bag out, leave it on the counter and don't touch it for like three days, three or four days. You want all that humidity from the freezer that froze the rice to thaw out. I usually keep it like a week on the counter. And then I go into it and then I open it up and I put it in Mylar bags, put an oxygen absorber in it and I save it. By doing that that way, what you're doing is you're killing any lava, any of the uh, bugs that are in the rice. Now, with the beans, I've never had a problem with beans. But what I do do is, I'm gonna loosen you from the tripod. Hi guys. I'm sorry, uh, the other video got a little messed up. So what I was saying was I never really had a problem with my beans. That's because I store them in my mason jars. And in here, they're sealed. I always check the lids and they stay perfect. Okay, so you can see they're nice and green. Peas especially, you could tell peas right away because peas start to turn color. So, see, now this lid, it just went up, but I'm not concerned about it because I'm going to make this. So, I don't worry about this. Uh, beans and grains and rice, you got a 30-year-plus shelf life. Now, this has to be put in a Mylar bag. And this is organic, and this is the, uh, the dorm. And the dorm makes the pasta. And I have a miller milling machine my milling machine is going to make in italian see this is upside down so you really can't see it 
This is a farina. They call it farina. They call it tipido, zero, zero. You know, the Italians can't make up their minds what, what they want to name something. Ana A organic. See, sometimes you'll see a tipido, zero, zero. And that means the fineness of the flour. And of course, this is durum wheat. And this is uh, unbleached and it comes from Italy. Italy is very, very stringent on um, spraying any kind of uh, GMOs, any kind of Monsanto. They will not allow them in. But I think they'll shoot them if they come into the country. So because the Italians love their pasta and they love their pizza. So these, um, this company is uh, Dorum Wheat. And it's 100% organic. And I am going to put it in my uh, bags because I have to save this. So I, you can see here, I have all my grains and I have them in my mason jar. This too, this has to go in. This I found on sale at, uh, I found this on sale at ShopRite. And I bought so many bags because I knew that this is good. Now I know you're seeing it backwards, but I'm going to read this to you. This is mullet. The mullet has, uh, the dietary fiber is one gram, which is 4%. This has five grams of protein, okay? And it has three milligrams of calcium. Uh, it has two milligrams of iron. And it has potassium, 97 milligrams, which is 2%. So... When you need to nutritionally feed your family, you want good grains. You want grains that are high in protein. And that's what you're going to get with millet. You're going to get that with quinoa. You're going to get that with um, not, not so much rice. Rice is not so great. Um, you're going to get it with kumit, uh, einkorn. So, you know... Look at the labels, look at the bottom of the, the package, turn it around, and that's what you're going to want. You're going to want grains that nutritionally uh, feed your family, okay? So, like, for instance, this is Durham. I don't know if it has it. Yes, it does. Okay, so here it, it says... I'm trying to read it without my glasses. It's got two milligrams of iron... Vitamin D. No, it doesn't have any vitamin D. And I can't read it because it's very, very small. But this is uh, 194 milligrams. I think it's MG, potassium. So it's high potassium. And again, iron. You're going to need that. Okay, guys? So that's what I do to store my wheat and my grains. And I don't have a problem with it. This is farro. Farro is excellent when it comes to... Uh, nutrition and it tastes delicious too so guys um i'm gonna have to do this now i have to do this because i don't want the bag to go bad also i have kumit now kumit if you ever tried kumit kumit is delicious and i think i have a video on this or well, i have a video on, on faro but it's the same thing so you want uh this is the same thing it's potassium is 217 mg's Iron is 2 mg's. Calcium is 11 milligrams. I mean, this stuff is good for you. It's got 7 grams of protein in it. So stick with the good grains, all right? And this is why the countries that are in the Middle East, that those people are healthy. They're very healthy because they eat the good grains. We don't know about it because they're trying to force McDonald's uh, down our throats with the GMO uh, fake, and now the we're, now we're getting the um, the cockroach burgers, the impossible burger. It has to be impossible because there's no way that it would nutritionally uh, keep you, you know, healthy. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to do that, and now I'm going to fix that, and then I'm going to do the rest. But I do have um, a lot of videos on storing food. Um, if you have any questions, please post them below. Please subscribe to my channel because I have uh, always new videos coming in. And um, I wish everybody, uh, you know, to have a safe day. 
and to just keep on prepping. We, we can't, we cannot rely on this crazy whirlwind of these lunatics that are in office. So that's, you know, that's how I feel. Okay. All right, guys. Bye.